good dodge. Also, what you need to be doing, yeah, whenever you go for a um, a shot and you know the cannonball is going to hit their mast, like you just know it's going to hit, get off the cannon, move away, and quickly switch to your sniper. That way you can get a quick, just quick shot off. The cannonball will probably do at least 30 damage, if not more, and then you can do a quick sniping and, and get your free kill. Because good crews like this very rarely die to the cannonball alone. They die to, die to a cannonball and a snipe. So when, if you know that your cannonball is going to hit hit him like that, quickly get off and go for a snipe real quick. Luckily he died, so it, it worked out. I think I think my teammate just shot him there. Oh, like. perfect. Oh, exactly. Yeah, yeah. that might be why he died then. I hit. Yep, he said he hit him and then cannonball. Final one killed him. Easy. Like I said, cannonball snipe. So easy. So yeah, but yeah, so you should be going for that snipe too. If you know your cannonball is yeah, going to hit. Here, like, solo. yeah, here, here you had to dodge is a bit different, but even still, you should still be, if you have to dodge, if you have to get off the cannon like you were to dodge the cannonball, definitely go for a snipe. Because you, because you, you have to get off the cannon anyway, so just go out, go out front real quick, go for a snipe, then get back to cannons. That way, it helps you not only to try and shoot him, but, and try and kill him, but also put pressure on him. Because now that he's hit you off cannon, he's now won the broad. So by the time you get back here to your cannon, if he wasn't dead, so right here, he would have shot the next cannonball, and if he hit, you would have had to dodge again. But if you would have came, came up front and sniped him, he wouldn't be able to shoot, he'd have to heal. Nice. So just that tiny thing. Because at, at a high level like this, at this close range of abroad, you have to put in a lot of pressure to make sure that they don't just keep cannoning you. Because once he once he wins that first shot and he gets you off cannon the first time, he's not going to let up. You have to, you're not going to be able to shoot cannons again until you snipe him or do some damage to him. Alright, so let's see. Yeah, I watched a little bit of the mods. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, turn captain too. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Turn this down. I watched a bit of the mod before. We'll see what happens. I forgot exactly what happened. Also, your cannon shots are actually insane from Sloop. I I, I know the I know the European Union is insane at Sloop for some reason. I don't know what, I don't know what they I don't know what they put the, in the T over there, but they're really good. I so far just do it. So far nothing's happening, just shooting cannonballs. Obviously you're very good, so I'm not gonna worry about the basic things. You're doing really good at dodging cannonballs that take it too much damage. And you're fine there. Did you reball at 10? Uh, I don't think so. I yeah. I saw the cannonball was oh I did. Yeah, let me see how let me see let me see how much you had left. You had, eight, you had you had one cannonball oh, left. So at a high level like this, obviously you're a very good player. So I'm gonna harp on the little things. You're you can't reball at one cannonball because it, it, if you think about it in the drastic terms, if you only shoot one cannonball, then go reball every time you shot one cannonball, that's useless, right? So same thing here. Use all ten. You can hold ten, so shoot all ten cannonballs for your reball. You, you need a you need a count, or at the very least, should, um, do you build with galleon? Have you ever built on a galleon? Oh yes, yes. So we yeah. are just strength and um, the build now. All right, cool, cool. Yeah, so I was gonna say like same thing with bilging. You always kind of check your radio wheel, see how much how much wood you have left as you're repairing. Same thing with cannonballs. Just quickly check how many cannonballs you have left as you're shooting. That way you know when you have to reball, in case you lose count. Because okay. yeah, you because <laughs> at a high level like this, you really can't be shooting. You can't be reballing really early like that. It's not the end of the world, it's probably not going to sink you or anything, but it's just, you, when you fight really good crews, if they're shooting 10 every time, you're only shooting 8 or 9, they're going to win. I would have dodged right here, and maybe maybe you would too, because uh, the problem is I'm scared that cannonball is just going to hit the mass behind you. I, I tried to dodge it, but I couldn't probably for some reason, or I wasn't fast enough, fast enough. Yeah, it's fine. I'm surprised you didn't take more damage. I thought for sure it was going to hit the mid best, but you dodged left, which is fine. You didn't take any damage, so it worked out. I would use that. Oh, yeah, you dodged it. Cool. I would also make sure that when you dodge something, to grab the cannonball back, grab the cannon right back, because that might hit mast. It, it, it's, it's, I, I think it's 50 50. When you dodge like this, I would always grab right back onto the cannon immediately, which you do, which is perfect. I just want to make sure that you, uh, that you understand to make sure you do it every single time. That way, you know, as, as you know, it completely negates the knockback whenever you shoot a cannon. Or whenever you get hit by a cannon. It, that way you don't get knocked around everywhere. You just shoot too high, I'm like, you fix it though. 
I personally wouldn't bother with chains because I, I know some people do chains which is fine. I know kind of the sloop strategy is like if they shoot chains, you shoot chains. What I see though, if they're shooting chains, that means they're not shooting cannon line. So you should be able to get some nice shots on cannon line. You can always shoot chains later, but because they're purposely not shooting you on cannons, you have a free cannon shot the entire time. So I would shoot so I would shoot at maybe at least one or two cannonballs at their cannon line first. Maybe then go for chains after. But because he's purposely not shooting you and you have no danger of getting shot with a cannonball and he's not putting any pressure onto you, shoot his cannon line. Put pressure onto him. Just for a couple times. And then and then shoot the chains afterwards for sure. I mean, but you hit both chains immediately, so you're you're popping off. Uh, once they lose angle, yeah, so once they're here, yeah, once they're here and lose angle, you have to shoot the wheel. You have to shoot the wheel. Like if you're if you're not if you're not hitting this wheel right here, then you're just throwing. Because right now they've overturned. Their helm, if he's smart, is going to immediately head over and uh, try to repair the wheel. So not only do you do you do damage to the helm, but you're also preventing him from being able to get angle again because he's stuck now. He's stuck constantly overturning and can never get angle back. Let's see what you do. Maybe yeah, shoot the wheel. Like shoot cannon line. That was a master, which is good. Okay, so yeah, now now at this point, I'll obviously try and shoot the mass, but for those first two cannon shots, I definitely would have shot the wheel, try and get some shots onto him. At this point, yeah, trying to keep the mass down, since they're so focused on it. Let's see what you do. Did you have to reball? What'd you reball at? You had three chains, two cannonballs left. I don't, I don't, I don't think you should have rebuild. If you're trying to like grab more chains, I could see it, but you have three more chains left. You were fine. It's, it, it's fine. And again, once that's down, shoot shoot that cannon. Because I'll also try to shoot that. You probably already know. But shoot this guy who's raising the mass. He's right there. You can see him. Or you can see him moving when you want Yeah, probably. Couldn't hit him. Exactly. Obviously, it's Just a hard now. shot to hit. Obviously, it's a hard shot to hit. And yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think you hit him as he was going up, up the stairs to. Uh, Grab the mask, which is great, but I was trying to shoot the mask, get a free bag, or at least break their wheel for sure. Obviously, these are just high waves, so it's a little tough to hit, which is fine. As long as you're trying to hit, like, I think you're, shoot, you're shooting way too far to the left. I think you're just trying to get their mask down right now, which is cool. Honestly, I just shoot the... Definitely make sure you aim lower. That way, you can also get a hit marker and not have to get masked. Because you're aiming a little high right now. This could be waves, but you aimed high, like, the last two shots. You're aiming, like, way up here. If you can just aim down here, you'll still hit the mast and get an X on the guy who's repairing. So it makes his life a lot harder. He's taking a lot of damage, and he can't repair the mast. Rather than just hit, hit shooting high. Just make sure you're aiming slightly lower. Which, actually... Which is, is good. So that, 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 that cannonball is actually perfect. That cannonball is exactly what I was talking about. It was perfect. Got the mast down again. Alright, shoot the wheel, please. Shoot the wheel real quick. Easy shot. So honestly, so now that he's dead, once you get that mask on, I go for board immediately. He's dead. Yeah, I, I go for board. I go for board immediately. The, the, your your teammate just repaired all your holes. You have no more holes anymore. He's even shooting with you. Um, one of them's dead. Their mask is down. Just go for board. Your team could easily put cannon shots on him. You need to capitalize while he's a solo. He might have gotten the res, but even still, you had no holes in the messes down. I don't think they were... I could have got for that board. Just played water if needed to. They're going now for a pardon, but it's probably just bedtime now. Since he pressed already. Big kill. Okay, uh, you definitely need to guard that res. I, I know you're trying to shoot your guy out. Do you, did you tell him that he killed? Or did he offer? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Did he yeah, offer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, I... Did he say he offered? I know I know oh, the close captioning says... I, I think he... It, it says... I think he, he did. Offered? Yeah, okay. he did. Okay, alright, cool. That's fine. That's fine, then. That's fine. I was going to say, you need to shoot the... You need to guard that board. You're fine. He probably wanted to reload the cannon offered on accident. Good luck, fine. 
Um, only thing different, I would have told your teammate nice. to wait in the water while you shoot cannons. Um, because he boarded and he made it on, which is fine. But the guy could have been watching or just shot it through the window real quick. Yeah. Just so I would, I would just tell your teammate that you're bucketing right now. Just like have him, just tell him to wait one second because he has no idea if you're shooting cannons or what you're doing. So just tell him to wait one second. You're bucketing. You're about to shoot real quick. That way he knows to wait to board and you can get a free bag on the guy who's who's ladder guarding. <laughs> Fortunately, team, he dies. Also, at this point, you need to be putting in back holes because this entire time you've shot this part of their boat. However, you just haven't shot. Where is it? You just haven't shot on this end yet. You haven't shot any tier threes into here. I don't really believe. Maybe one tier three, but you shot this part real fine, but not this part. So you're leaving like was that three tier threes that can be open on this side. And put more pressure on them. So you need to be sure the back of the boat in this situation. Oh, yeah. Let's see what you do. Obviously, shoot some cannon line just to make sure he stays off of it. But you have to shoot those back holes. There's a lot of sloop players kind of get in the habit of just shooting cannon line. They just shoot cannon line at all times. Shoot cannon line or wheel. But if you don't open the back holes, they're not going to be under a lot of pressure. I definitely wouldn't. Have, I definitely wouldn't have gone for the repair. Um, I would have kept shooting for a while. Maybe, like I said, I would shot some of those back holes, put more pressure into them. Because since your teammate's dead, you have to keep up with the pressure to make sure that they can't just start double sniping you or start being able to shoot cannons back at you. And you didn't have a lot of water. Your teammate's going to come back in 10 seconds. He can bucket later. So I would have kept up with the pressure rather than go for a repair. This is a very safe thing to do, but because you're down here right now, they're able to get back on cannons, chain shot you, and now you're in the same spot they are. Whereas if you're shooting and sniping, he wouldn't be able to shoot their cannons. Please heal. Please heal. Thank you. Yeah, you need to load. You need to load with your hand just to avoid taking all this damage. As you, as you probably know, you probably just forgot about it. But you need to load with your hand right here. Whenever, whenever they win the broad like this, get the cannibal on your hand, load it from there. That way you can escape the or dodge the cannibal much easier uh, and take much less damage. I say it like uh, later in the video, but I had the uh, wrong language on my keyboard, so I couldn't use my keybinds. Oh, uh, okay. like, and I figured it like later, so I switched it. Back on. Oh, okay, that's fine then. That's fine if you just can't physically do it. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay. There it is. Please heal. Please don't be one snipe. Please heal. I. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. See, like I said, I would shoot cannon line, get some X's, and then make sure you shoot those back holes open. Good dodge. Also, what you need to be doing, yeah, whenever you go for a um, a shot and you know the cannonball is going to hit their mast, like you just know it's going to hit, get off the cannon, move away, and quickly switch to your sniper. That way you can get a quick, just quick shot off. The cannonball will probably do at least 30 damage, if not more, and then you can do a quick sniping and get your free kill. Because good crews like this very rarely die to the cannonball alone. They die to, die to a cannonball and a snipe. So when if you know that your cannonball is gonna hit hit him like that, quickly get off and go for a sniper real quick. Luckily he died, so it, it worked out. I think I think my teammate just shot him there. Oh, like. perfect. Oh, exactly. Yeah, yeah. That might be why he died then. I hit. Yep. He said he hit him and then cannonball. Final one killed him. Easy. Like I said, cannonball snipe. So easy. So yeah, but yeah. So you should be going for that snipe too. If you know your cannonball is yeah, gonna I hit. Here, like, solo. yeah, here, here, you had to dodge is a bit different, but even still, you should still be. If you have to dodge, if you have to get off the cannon like you were to dodge the cannonball, definitely go for a snipe because you, because you, you have to get off the cannon anyway. So just go out, go out front real quick, go for a snipe, then get back to cannons. That way, it helps you not only to try and shoot him, but and try and kill him, but also put pressure on him because now that he's hit you off cannon, he's now won the broad. So by the time you get back here to your cannon, if he wasn't dead, so right. Here, he would have shot the next cannonball, and if he hit, you would have had to dodge again. But if you would have came, came up front and sniped him, he wouldn't be able to shoot, he'd have to heal. Well, so just that tiny thing.
because at, at a high level like this, at this close range or abroad, you have to put in a lot of pressure to make sure that they don't just keep cannoning you. Because once he once he wins that first shot and he gets you off cannon the first time, he's not going to let up. You have to, you're not going to be able to shoot cannons again until you snipe him or do some damage to him. Looks like he offered to you again. You need to definitely be shooting. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't worry about bailing. It's your helm job. You need to worry about shooting. He did offer, so it worked out well. I said you shot the same spot three times in a row. Yeah, like I said, you need, you need to be opening this hole and this hole. You've only opened this one and probably uh, these here, but you have not opened up these holes yet. So you need you need to get all those back holes open. Especially in a time like this where he's not shooting back at you, he has one guy on the boat, just focus on your repairing, you have to be shooting those back holes. Also, wait, your mess is- how long has your mess been up for? I thought it went down. I, I have no idea, he probably just didn't like it, didn't register, like okay. four times or so. Okay, well, well let's, let's assume it- let's assume it just got- it just got repaired. At this point, you need to break their wheel, make sure that it's triple cracked, and then tell your helm to drop sail. Now you can easily get out of angle of them, make your life a whole lot easier. But yeah, your goal definitely to break. Make, make sure you break their wheel, because breaking wheel doesn't really matter when you're both demasted. It doesn't matter too much. But yeah, well, if you get their, if you get your mast up, then having their wheel broken is insane. And you have to be able to make sure you break it. Or else they're just gonna keep turning. It doesn't really matter. I think you took a couple more buckets than you needed to. You healed for a while. Bucket here while our teammate raised mass was fine. Um, at this point, you gotta go up and shoot, shoot some cannonballs. You took one extra bucket than you needed to. Yep, and because of that, he's able to shoot a cannonball. If you were up before that, you would want to shoot first and be able to keep him off cannons. Instead, now he's keeping you off cannons. Like I said, you gotta go for a snipe. Like uh, when you were over here, once you get knocked off the first time, and he's he's established, he hit an X. He knows you. He knows he hit you off cannon. You have to go for a quick snipe to make sure that he gets off cannons, because you're not gonna be able to get back here. Yeah, you have to go for a snipe. Let's see what she do. Okay, well, that was a useless bucket. These buckets, I, they're fine. I've probably gone for a repair or anything, or gone for more snipes. It's a sloop. You can tank forever. But yeah, this was a useless bucket. There's no water anymore. It wasn't the full bucket. Oh. Again, like I said, yeah, you gotta got go for snipe first and hit it before you can get back on cannons. <laughs> or if you just stop shooting, that works too. At this point, tell your teammate to kind of turn a little bit to the left. I think you might have done that. Yeah, I guess I gotta go for the snipe first. Or else he's gonna keep it in your cannon. And like that one as well. You like you knew that like you knew that cannonball's gonna hit. That cannonball's clearly gonna hit. So especially because he just shot his cannonball, you have to dodge anyway. Go to the front of the ship, dodge the cannonball, go for snipe, make sure that try to kill that guy as that cannonball is landing. Cause that cannibal did, I'd say at least 20, maybe more. Um, so I definitely go for a snipe real quick. Just see if you can kill him. I mean, you're doing great on dodges. Like, even though you can't actually see the cannibal, you assume it's gonna hit, so you dodge, which is great. Snipe, 
No, on on for drobí iba takú prvú holu a kanon holu. Poznáme iba kanon holu. Ten zastávame iba kanon holu. Zastávame iba kanon holu a nič nehypne ani. You found a repairs. Yeah, it kind of sucks. It's a little bit of highway, so you can't really go for snipes too much here. You still can, but it's a lot less consistent. Because see, as you can see, he's in the same spot 50 times in a row. You have one hole right now on your boat. If he was opening the back holes and you had three tier threes and that front hole open, your helm would have to be down below for a lot longer. Because he only hit one hole, though. Not a problem. Yep, good shot. Now you just start shooting. I'd probably heal though, for now at this point. A little scary. Nice, Kopcha. Good shots. Yeah, just keep. I would just keep switching from the mass back to the uh, cannon, or from the guy who's raising the mass back to the cannon, just like you were. Just so you can keep pressure on the cannon here as he heals. Go kill the guy with the mass. So at this point, your team just said the triple rep the mast. At this point, you need to well number one shoot shoot a cannon line obviously, but then also try and break their wheel just in case it's repaired. Just shoot one shot at it because your team's about to drop sail. If their wheel's full repped, like I said, they can easily keep angle on you. If it's full, if it's fully broken, you're gonna get, you're gonna get out of angle with them real quick. Make life a whole lot easier. I'm not sure why you went for a bucket. Just keep shooting them. Yeah, I think their wheels not. Yeah, I think their wheels repaired. So they're able to keep angle. Yeah, but also now, as you can see, be, this is easy, easy opportunity to break the wheel because since um, since they now have to hard turn left to keep up with you, if you break their wheel, your helm can easily just raise sail and they'll just keep spinning around forever. <laughs> see how to do that. Good job balloon by hand. Like I said, I'd, I'd break their wheel if you can. They're not on cannon line, clearly. Okay, yeah, let's go back here real quick. So number one, you just kind of missed the load, which kind of sucks. Let's see real quick. But yeah, once you're this range, I don't mind going for the wheel shot. It's unlucky you got double sniped. Um, but when you're this range, you kind of just have to... I don't know. Mm, that's fine. That's fine. You just got unlucky. You just got unlucky. At this range, you you could make an argument that like you could just not shoot cannons whatsoever until you get a snipe off. Then and only then shoot cannons. But I think it was fine. You're doing. You're going pretty quick with it. You were loaning by the hand. You weren't just sitting on cannons. But like I said, the wheel shot is absolutely underutilized from your gameplay. Let's see. Our team was able to like make the angle, which is huge. You need to be shooting cannons, please. Honestly, I'd break their mass and I should have blunderbomb at their uh, at their at their yeah, sail raise here. That way, you can for sure get it down or knock them off it. Cannonballs are fine, especially because you're there. They could be left or right, and you might miss the shot. I should have blunderbomb for sure, just to make sure they get knocked off. Like I said, this is easy wheel shot here. Easy wheel shot. Which you're just not doing. Which is fine though. Oh yeah, now you shoot cannons. Yep, you get off cannons. Oh, huge! That was good. 
Yeah, like your your actual cannon dodging and snipes and when to get, when to get off cannons is really good. Like I said, you're a very very good player. It's just that tiny stuff that you're just not doing, like opening back holes, not breaking wheel when you should. Every, but everything else, like actually like knowing this guy's here shooting a cannonball and then immediately leaving because he's sniping you is just really good. Uh, and you're able to kill him. Nice, nice. Great. Like I said, because he's dead, you know his teammate's down here because he was sniping you, and his teammate was over here on this side. All you gotta do is just shoot the wheel, and you're fine. Shoot right. the wheel, just to make sure they're under much more pressure. Shoot those back holes, and you're fine. I'm a half side, half side. Again, uh, I would just, I would tell your teammate to wait for a second. Because, yeah, he's lucky he doesn't die. The guy could have easily one blooded him. Like I said, if you have to turn the wheel, you're not on cannon, tell your teammate. I trust him with the boards because he's like he knows like how to board very well. What's he, like I don't know, close the window and stuff. He baits until he he's sure he can board. So I trust him with it, but that's probably one thing I could do to tell him to wait. That's fine. Because that's this always safer. No, for sure. Well, because this crew was fine. Honestly, they did really bad though with border defense because all the all the border has to do he can sit down below mid deck and just shoot him through the window. That's all he has to do. Uh, I think I think my team closed the window. Like he just, if you it might be look at their window is probably closed. That's but, true. But uh, I think they think like right after he bought it. Oh, you're right. I mean, you're right. I mean, you're so, right. Yeah, there is always. And you're right. Yeah, like 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 I said, he can probably get on by himself. You don't have to shoot cans for him to do so. They're already under immense pressure. There's only one guy alive. The other guy's dead. So yeah, absolutely. You don't need to have him shoot. But the thing is, right? If he, if your teammate does die, well, now it's an even fight again, right? It's an even fight. They have one guy dead. You have one guy dead. His guy's going to respawn before your teammate comes back. Just in that situation, you don't need to tell him to wait. Just tell your teammate that you're not shooting cannons. Just tell him, I'm not, I, just tell him, I'll shoot cannons in three seconds or whatever you have to do. That way he knows that you're not, he's not going to cannon pressure. But yeah, but you're right. Like, he, like he's made board every time he's made it on. The the first time he boarded, he he, he died because he pushed the guy. Um, but this time he did fine. Killed the guy, which is great. Ooh, he killed him, which is huge. Let's see. Did he close the window? I'm sure he did. I just want to see if I can find if I can see it or not. I don't know. Not really. But yeah, other than that, like I said, your cannons are absolutely stellar. Like, there's not a problem with your actual aim. There's not a problem with you dodging the cannonballs. You're expertly dodging them dodging snipes um a lot of people too when they're bad at sloop when a cannonball gets shot and there's waves in the way they don't leave the cannon they just kind of wait there and hope it doesn't hit them you were doing really well where you weren't doing that if you if you heard a cannonball being shot from the enemy crew you didn't know where it was you got off the cannon just to be safe which was perfect that saved you like three times exactly what you got to do uh, the only difference like i said you need to be shooting wheel a whole lot more um if you've gotten them off their off their cannon where they're not shooting you and there's like a little bit of high waves, so you can easily shoot, shoot the wheel. Shoot the wheel. It makes their life so much harder. They can't keep angle. It makes life really difficult. And you have to be opening the back holes as well. Because if you hit the same spot 50 times in a row, it's still only one hole. So they have no pressure. So yeah, like at the beginning, this hole's always open. This hole, uh, the hole the front's always open. You have to get these three open as well. Then they have five tier threes, which is insane. So you have to be opening all these holes. I mean, other than that, your shots were fine. Like I said, just that tiny thing, I would tell your helm. Just, you don't need to tell him to wait to board, because, like you said, he's a very good boarder. He's, he's not stupid. He's not going to just go up and die, right, if there's, there's a guy watching him. He's going to close the window like he knows. But just tell him, hey, I'm not shooting cannons right now. Just tell him I'm turning a wheel. Just that he knows, because sometimes some people are just expecting you to be able to shoot them with cannonballs or something, or he's like, hey, the, the guy's on a wheel, shoot him real quick, and then but you're not ready for it. But other than that, it was fine. Great fight. Honestly, you guys should have won way back here. But when he went for a board, he died. Oh, he's a second deck. Yeah, he just died immediately. It's unfortunate. Yeah, but other than that, it was actually a great fight. Like I said, those are really the three things. Uh, shoot wheel. You need to open those back holes as well. Make sure they have more pressure. And then just tell your teammate when, you, when, he, when he's going for a board. Tell him that you're, um, uh, you're not on cannons. When you guys go for boards, do you normally have him go for a board, or do you go for a board? Is it just him usually? Uh, like? He usually he usually goes, but we switch sometimes so that I can like uh, get to like the board and stuff, so I learn it uh, more better. Okay, makes so sense. I know how to board better. When... Perfect. Yeah, I think there's only one situation you could have done this at, at, but like I said, if you ever kill one 
and your boat only has like one or two holes, just send a guy to play water. Because that guy who's bucketing now has to deal with the buckets and the guy who's about to board. And the guy in water doesn't have to do anything, as you already know. He can just sit in water, pretend to board, pretend to climb the ladder, just jump right back in. It makes the board, the ladder guard's life a whole lot worse. So yeah, in, in sloop especially, if you don't have a lot of holes and you're um and you killed one of them top deck and he stays dead, just go for quick boards. Well, kind of. You, uh, that was the thing. You need to go for more, more snipes. When you get beat on cannon line, you have to go for more snipes. You weren't doing that a lot. You're just kind of healing and waiting, hoping that they just miss or something. Go for a snipe and be proactive. And that final thing too. I or, probably I wasn't <laughs> I wasn't really like uh, I well, I, oh, I don't know how to say this, but uh, I'm like I didn't trust myself that I would hit snipes on this range because I don't usually play like. We usually just sting the guys like immediately, so oh, I don't usually get the snipe a lot. I mean, yeah, makes sense. Like I said, I definitely gotta go for snipes. Even if you don't hit the snipe, just that, just that shine, that shiny light that they see on their screen, they see that you're going for a snipe, and so they're gonna be very cautious. They're gonna try and dodge it. It might get them off cannons. That that that, that happened to you a couple of times. You saw he was going for a snipe. You got off the cannon because you didn't want to get sniped. So that could. So even if you don't go for one, you can still shine the light at least. And then that final thing, you're just taking buckets when you shouldn't. Like, that, buckets are your helm's job. If if you are both bucketing, or you're spending time bucketing while he's turning the wheel, and you have angle to shoot, you're wasting time. That gives the enemy crew a good five seconds to repair some holes, reball, get on cannons, reload their cannon, and then shoot you. And now they have the, now they've won the broad again. Really don't be going for bails unless your teammate asks you to. And if you do go for bails like this, you can't be bucketing when there's... Not a full bucket. What was this? You bucketed here. There's no water. This is not a full bucket, so you shouldn't be taking this bucket. But you did. So it's fine. Yeah, that was it. Like I said, uh, break their wheel, open up their back holes, go for snipes when you lose the um, cannon line duel, and don't bucket no water. Make sure you're bucketing some water, or probably only bucket when your helm tells you to. Besides that, though, you gotta focus on shots, because they can always put in holes and damage faster than you can repair it so damage is way more important than repairing and bucketing hi kaiju here if you enjoyed the video or wanted to support me please join my discord i have a vod review submissions channel where you can post gameplay that you'd like to be coached on by me simply look at the rules for submitting and post your vod it will be approved by one of my mods and i will message you and find a convenient time we can go over it together and i also have a questions for kai channel where you could ask me any questions you want Link is in the description. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Anyways, good luck.